Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com with some really powerful and interesting orchestral music by British composer Robin Walker. I'm going to talk about this in a minute. What's also interesting is how I came across it or how it was suggested to me, which is what happened. Um, a little while ago, I got a very kind email from British composer David Matthews. You know, he's famous you know, in musical circles, aside from being a formidable composer in his own right. I mean, he's really a, a serious voice. His string quartets are on Toccata, and his, with, along with his piano trios. A bunch of his symphonies have been recorded by Dutton and elsewhere. So his music is out there. He is the elder brother of Colin Matthews, and the two of them were well-known when the, the Mahler boom happened in the 1960s and 70s. They worked with Derek Cook in the performing version of Symphony Number no. 10, and, you know, Mahler people know who the Matthews brothers certainly are. So anyway, it was a big surprise when I got a, a message from uh, David Matthews um, saying that he had enjoyed my video on Mahler's Sixth Symphony and had some thoughts about it. And, uh, you know, I wrote a larger article about Mahler Six that we shared this back and forth, and we had a bit of a chat. And it was really very, 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 very interesting for me, and I was really touched that he took the time and trouble to actually write and talk about it. And what's really interesting is that he said to me, have you heard the music by this guy, Robin Walker, especially his tone poem, The Stone King and The Stone Maker. These two pieces, they're stone things. They sound quite gravelly and craggy. But, you know, I hadn't. I didn't know anything about them. Um, and he suggested I listen to them. And of course, you know, when someone says to me, do you know such and such and such and such, and I don't, that makes me absolutely crazy because I'm obsessive compulsive about this stuff. So I grabbed the disc as quickly as I could. It's on the Takata label featuring the the Novi Rossiya Symphony Orchestra under Alexander Walker. And you've got four orchestral works. Those orchestral works are um, Great Rock is Dead, A Funeral March, um, The Stonemaker and The Stone King, which are two symphonic poems, and the, the prelude to the opera Odysseus on Ogygia. I mean, so that's, you know, whatever the heck that is. He was on Ogygia hanging out with, with uh, what, what was her name? Callisto or whatever that nymph thing was. And anyway, so, so that, that, was, that was what was here. And I plonked them on, and my oh my, this is really good music. It's interesting music. Uh, there is a big, long, there's an interview with Martin Anderson, who is the, you know, the presence behind Toccata Classics, and also a long essay from Robin Walker himself on his own music and his musical journey, about which I understood virtually nothing. He does say in the opening interview that, is, is his ability to express himself in music is far superior than his ability to express himself in words, and I can only agree. This stone business, for example, that he has, it, it's he talks about stones and organic things in nature, and he's been living on a farm, and 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 I, I you know, I mean, this is going to sound disparaging, and it's not meant to, but it's what usually happens. You know, Mendelssohn said it best. Remember, he said, for me, the feelings that music expresses are more specific than those um, that are, you can put into words. And so he didn't try. And that's such a good idea. <laughs> it really is. Because I have no clue what's going on with all the rocks. And I collect rocks. You know, I love stones. But, but, the, but what these are, are whether the funeral march or the two stone tone poem things, are somewhat deliberate. Um, they all move at sort of a moderate tempo, um, gripping, I don't know how to describe it. See, words fail, but they are viscerally powerful. You know what they remind me of a little bit? If Remember we did a talk uh, a little bit ago about Miroslav Kabalach, you know, his mystery of time, Pasakalia. They have that kind of inexorability. One of the formative influences is Sibelius. And that's, that's evident in obvious and less obvious ways. Some of the obvious ways are um, at the end of this funeral march, we get the last two chords of Sibelius's fifth. You know, bum, bum. I kind of wish he hadn't done that. I really do. You know, it's not that there's anything wrong with that or that Sibelius owned those two notes, but it's such an iconic ending that whenever anyone else does something similar, it always sounds like they're copying Sibelius' fifth. So that's one thing. And then there's there's a moment where 
where in, in the Stone King, I think it is, where where you hear sort of this central climax from the first movement of the violin concerto. You know, one of those big swelling brass chords. <laughs> you know that sort of thing i mean there's there's some of that and there's some of tapiola and the violin writing here and there i mean it's fun to play you know catch the influence but but these are not these are not truly you know significant and it isn't fair to accuse walker of obvious obvious you know plagiarism because there's nothing like that going on there really isn't what we have are three very gripping, powerful, sort of inexorably monolithic orchestral works, which are wonderfully played and very, very well recorded um, by Toccata Classics in Russia. And and uh, this was recorded in, in case you're wondering, I think it was like 2016 or 2015, the performances. So it was like way before the Ukraine thing. You don't have to worry about that if that was an issue. And I, I think that the and the prelude here to Odysseus on Ogaija is really beautiful. It's it's a it's sort of a nature poem, and it's it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. Um, it has it has beautiful woodwind writing and and really poignant and affecting harmony. This is contemporary music. It's not it's not facile, and it's not conservative in a retrogressive kind of way. It's tonal. Um, and it's, it, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much. And I'm very, very grateful to David Matthews for giving me the recommendation. And, you know, it's very typical, I have to say. I get a lot of correspondence, lots and lots of correspondence. And most of it is, you know, artists writing about themselves. I have a new CD. I have a this. I have a that. And they're interested. They usually start with, I love your videos. You're wonderful. You're the god of music and whatnot. And, of course, I know I am, so I don't need them to tell me that. And, and, you know, the only reason they're telling me that is because they want something. I mean, if, if, I, if I didn't have something to offer, of course, they wouldn't be giving me time of day. And, and so, you know, it's, it's, that's always the lead up to the sales pitch. And I was really struck. And one of the reasons I went and did this as quickly as I have is because I was really touched by the fact that Mr. Matthews didn't say a word about his own music or himself. I mean, he really didn't. He was interested in someone else, in promoting someone else's music who he felt was worthy and deserving. And, and that is all too rare in the classical music business. So I want to thank David Matthews for the recommendation. I enjoyed the disc very, very much. I don't recommend that you play all four works in a row. Um, take them one at a time because they do have a certain similarity of mood. I mean, you know, it's in the titles. This is intentional. You know, they're stone things. And I'd be very interested to hear some of Walker's non-stone things to see if they sound different from the stone things. But this is really powerful and affecting music and enjoyable and wonderfully played and recorded. And so I, I, I recommend it to, to, to you also that you all give it a listen um, from David Matthews through me and uh, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. I'm really curious. I, I, I found this uh, to be quite a discovery. So keep on listening, friends. Thank you, Mr. Matthews. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Keep up the good work. Take care. <laughs>